My name is Christine Marquette and I'm a registered and licensed dietitian with Marquette Nutrition and Fitness and I've been asked about heart healthy recipes. There's a lot of different websites you can go to for heart healthy recipes. The American Heart Association, for example, their website, AmericanHeart.org, they have quite a few different recipes for a variety of categories. One recipe in particular that I like is for salmon. This is a really easy recipe. You basically, um, depending on how many people you need to serve, that will dictate what size piece of salmon that you purchase at the store. Um, it basically um, can be cut to four ounces per person when the, when the salmon is actually raw. And what you use in this particular recipe, besides the salmon, you're gonna use olive oil. You're also gonna use lemon juice. You're gonna use capers, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of basil as well. And this particular recipe, you can either cook it in the oven or you can cook it outside on the grill. All you need to do is brush your salmon with the olive oil. You're going to actually use the lemon juice, the pepper, and the basil as a marinade. You will mix this up in a bowl and actually let the salmon marinate in it for about 30 minutes. Once it has marinated, you're going to put it either in the oven at 350 or out on the grill under medium heat and you're going to cook it for about 8 to 10 minutes per 1 inch thickness of the salmon. Now this particular recipe again it's very heart healthy because you're getting those omega-3 fats from the salmon you're also getting some monounsaturated fat from the olive oil. In addition there isn't any added salt to this recipe so it's a low sodium recipe as well. So it has all of the the basic tenets for a heart healthy recipe in that it doesn't have saturated fat in it or it has very very little it doesn't have any trans fat either. The only fat that it has is the healthy unsaturated fat from the omega-3s and from the monounsaturated fat. It also doesn't have any added sodium, so it's a very low sodium particular recipe. So very heart healthy. Again, this is one of my favorites, but for others, you can go to the American Heart Association's website.